I remember I, I had a bit about this on my uh, in my hour uh, that I put out in 2017, and it was just like right when Donald Trump, you know, like first came into office. But I remember like working out stuff at clubs in New York City, and if you started a premise about Donald Trump, you could feel the tension in the room where people are being like, you better not like him. Like, you better get yeah. to the point where you're against him. Like, are you on my team? Are you not? You're not on my team yet. Like, you could, like, feel it in, uh, you know. Especially New York. Yeah. Dude, I was there when he got elected. And uh, me and my friend Cam Haynes, were you there, Jamie? We were walking down the street. And Jamie, too. We were walking down the street, and there was an anti-Trump protest. And I was watching this guy. And this guy, this fucking stereotypical liberal progressive white guy, was walking down the street and he was he was chanting out, Donald Trump, KKK, uh, racist, sexist, anti-gay, Donald Trump. And then he saw this black couple walking towards him. And he starts going, Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter. He just like on cue. <laughs> He's like, he got a, oh, yeah, 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 that part. Black Lives Matter. He just starts, and I'm like, this is adorable. These people are adorable. It's, yeah, it is really, it's something bonk. He really, Donald Trump, um, he broke a lot of brains. Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's a really weird impact that he had on people where he just got them so angry that they could no longer think straight. I remember I was living in the Upper West Side of Manhattan at the time um, when, when he first got elected and I remember seeing like some of those like protests. I remember seeing, you know, like I remember the, a couple with like their little girl, like maybe she was like 12 or something like that and she was holding up a worst president ever sign. And you're like, okay, first off, he's had the job for two months. Uh, second off, this is very disrespectful to all of the horrible presidents before him. Like L LBJ slaughtered like two million Vietnamese. He doesn't even get like a shot at contention right. here. Right. You're already giving it to Trump. Like right. give him time. He'll do some bad he was things. He's probably involved in the Kennedy but, assassination as well. Almost certainly. Yeah, probably. But you don't want to talk seems, about that. Seems like he didn't like JFK. Seems like maybe he liked the CIA. <laughs> it seems, seems that way, but you don't want to talk about it too much, Joe. You could lose your Fox News gig that way. <laughs> You know what I love about LBJ? He used to take a shit with the reporters, like, standing there. Yeah. With a stall open. <laughs> he was a wild dude. Dude, just take a shit. Come on, come on, let's talk. He would just sit there and fucking uh, uh, grunt one out. While... It's, the, it's the strangest but yet most alpha thing to possibly do. Yeah. To just comfortably come shit. Come watch me shit. While you, while, while you talk to someone about Cambodia. Yeah. But yeah, that's a wild move, watching people shit. <laughs> It's a wild move. Watch it. It's it's more wild to just have the confidence to just shit in front of people. He's like, I'm the fucking president. <laughs> yeah, he was just, I guess. Yeah, yeah he, he was never a bad guy. been elected. He would have never been elected. Never. Well, you can't say never, because if Biden was running against him, he probably would have been elected. Yeah, Jesus. Oh, this, Biden was only fifty at the time. The fact that he's running again 